During the estimation of nitrogen present in an organic compound by Jeldal method, the ammonia evolved from 0.2 gram of the compound. So we have taken 0.2 gram of organic compound. Organic compound is 0.2 gram. Now this organic compound, this 0.2 gram, will contain certain amount of nitrogen. Once it is allowed to pass, react with concentrated H2O support, the nitrogen will be converted to ammonium sulfate. So the nitrogen present in that in this 0.2 gram. That will produce ammonium sulfate and that ammonium sulfate will be reacted with NaOH to produce ammonia and again this ammonia will be titrated. So now what is going to happen here? It was found that you know the ammonia produced is neutralized by 10 ml of 0.1 molar H2SO4. So this is the amount of H2SO4, concentration of H2SO4, which is there for neutralizing the ammonia produced. So we can very easily equate it and we can find out that how much ammonia will react with this amount of H2SO4. Try to understand the fact that, you know, if you look at the balanced chemical equation, then ammonia react with H2SO4 and forms ammonium sulfate plus H2SO4. Okay, this is produced. You have to balance it. So, two Okay, now, one thing very clear with this is that, you know, one mole of H2SO4 is basically reacting with two mole of ammonia. Okay, so it means if we have been given 10 ml of 0.1 molar H2SO4, it simply means that it can react with 10 ml of 0.2 molar ammonia, means double amount of double moles of ammonia should be there. Or you can take it as 20 ml of 0.1 molar ammonia. So if we talk about like this, that 10 ml of 0.1 molar H2SO4 reacts with ammonia that is equal to 20 ml of 0.1 molar Okay, so 20 ml of 0.1 molar ammonia. Formula it means that you have to remember so much. You just have to follow unitary method. Okay, now try to understand this fact. The 20 ml of 0.1 molar ammonia is there. And in 1 molar ammonia, we know that 14 gram molar mass of ammonia in nitrogen is 14 and for ammonia 17. So by the some basic concept of chemistry, you all have studied that you know, out of 17 gram ammonia, 14 gram will be of nitrogen. So 0.1 molar simply means that in 100,000 ml of the solution, we have how much ammonia will be there? 0.1.7 moles of ammonia will be there in 1000. So from this, we can easily say that in 20 ml, how much nitrogen will be there? Try to understand it clearly. This is the basic, most important step for this reaction. Amount of ammonia, okay? or you can simply say amount of nitrogen now. So 0.1 molar ammonia. So 0.1 molar ammonia has, one mole ammonia has 14 gram. So 1.4 gram of ammonia is present in 1000 ml. So divided by 1000 and how many ml of ammonia is there? It is 20, so multiplied. This will be the amount of, you know, you have amount of nitrogen that will be there. Now, this whole amount of nitrogen was basically present in the organic compound. So percentage of nitrogen equal to 1.4 into 20 by 1000 multiplied by 0.2 into percentage that is 100. On solving this, what we are going to get? One point four by zero point two two into two that is fourteen percent. So this is your correct answer. So you have to follow the unitary method for the proper estimation for a, for proper solving of such questions, whether it is from Carius method, Jeldal method, or for Dumas method. Okay.